So if you want to see if your machine might have a broken spider bracket or a um, worn out rear bearing, you can grab the plastic part and then you can see if you can move this spin basket around like this. Should be no no movement at all. So this one has a huge amount of deflection. Looks like about almost an inch. So I would say it's a definitely a broken spider bracket. So when you try to spin it by hand you'll hear it clunking around. And when you try to uh, run it during agitation even it'll, it'll have a clunking sound. So the back part there there's a bracket and one of the parts just broke over, over time. Yeah, so that one's really wobbly. Definitely broken spider bracket. So we have the two halves separated. We have some damage to the interior front aspect of the uh, tub and we're just going to clean it up and then put some epoxy to seal a couple leaks. The leaks were a result of just this edge, actually that edge, spinning against the plastic because the spider back bracket broke. So here's the shaft. There's the rear bearing, which was fully intact. There's no leak there. It was doing great. But the spider bracket broke. It's made out of an aluminum alloy, and it's combined with a nice stainless steel tub. But because you have aluminum and stainless steel, and you have the corrosive detergent and water, it does corrode over time. You get a lot of micro cracks. And then if you get something heavy in the spin basket, like a, bl a blanket might do it, it'll crack. And then when it cracks, the spin basket is no longer really supported. So it, it clanks around and makes a bunch of noise. It also kind of tears into the plastic tub but that's usually repairable. So we're gonna, we've already got a new spin basket. We're just gonna clean things up, seal up the tub, and then new spin basket with it, which comes with a new spider bracket. Costs us about 140, I think, or 150, and then should be good. So here's a new spin basket that's in the tub attached to the back and spins great. So we know the rear bearing's in super good shape. We're about to put it back together. We just have to address this groove that was burned into the front part of the tub. So we're going to put some plastic sheathing with epoxy on the outside and we'll fill the groove that it made on the inside with epoxy, let it dry, and then put it together.